So next step is after seeing all of that to insert members. Remember, these are my roles. The first members I like to add are the employee members. And that means all the people assigned to that specific role. So we will do that as we did that before. So I step here to the dictionary and this time I like to add the members. Members are organized in person in org. These are the members of the role. I just drop that on my page. I get the same page again. This time I'm only interested in the name of the people. So I use UID person display. This is the name of the people. And then I say add. Here we are. I get a header band as well. I get here another data band. But if I step now to the preview, what you can see here is the same view than before. But if I move completely to the end of my report here, then you will see here a lot of people. These are just the members and they are separated from the stuff before. So what I need now is a connection between my data band on the top and the data band that comes below. To do that, here on the right side are some icons. The first icon says this is the data source is person and org. This is correct. The second icon says that should be connected using the following reference. And that is role to person. That's the only reference that exists between the members and uh, the identities. So I select that this time. The third icon says which data object we should use. And this is data job title roles. Perfect. And if I now step to the preview, then I can see exactly what I expect. Here is my role and here are the members. Two things not really nice. First of all, UID person display. Uh, it's a very bad label. And then we have too much space between the people and better to display could be, for example, a two column view here for the people. To do so, I step back to the editor. First thing to do is to move up the field a bit so that I get here only a one line display. Here we are. Second thing here is to format that in a way that it is a two column display. So I select that and step to properties. Here we are. And in properties, there should be columns, but the columns itself are not on the text label. The columns are on the band. So I have to select the band. Here are columns. Zero means just one column and two means two columns. Yeah, you get that blue extension here. And if I now step to the preview, that looks not too bad. Last thing to format is to ensure that these guys get intended in the same way than the guys before. Here we are on the right side. We will do the same. And last but not least, we have now to get this one here uh, as uh, formatted as uh, header information. So to get that formatted, I double click the header. UID person display. It's a text I don't want to display. So maybe a better display is something like member. But another good idea could be, for example, to add as well the amount of members so that I see directly how many members are assigned to that role. And to do that, I can use functions here on the right side. There is a function picker. I open the function picker. There are totals, for example, and a typical total is the count. So I open the count first. There are stump counts. I use the long count here. So I take that and move it in front of members. That is now a function that says count. And as you can hear, that could be now one member or that could be more than one member, which are then members. So maybe I like to format that as well. For something like that exists another function here. I can step, for example, to programming shortcuts. There is an if, so I can put that here. And now I can get the whole thing formatted, first of all. If count, this is the condition, it's greater than one, because then I do have members. Then I will give out here the text members. And if not, it is only one member. And this time, because I'm now in a function, I have to wrap text in double quotes. So there is a space between both. So this is the count, then member or members should be at the end the text. I close that. I move that in a bit so that it fits to the others. And to make that a little bit nicer, I will 
as well add a small uh, line underneath of that. So I add a line, this time a line of the band. I step to the preview and as we can see here, seven members. Very nice. Ah, here it is. One member. Brilliant. Works great. One thing that is not really cool from my perspective, this is that uh, there is no space between the members and the next role, but I can fix that once I add the assigned groups. And to improve the layout a little bit more, I will now write here one assigned member and I will add assigned Active Directory accounts. So double click on the title again and small caps, perfect. First change. Second change is now I like to add the Active Directory groups. Remember how that works. I step to the directory and now I like to speed up things by just increasing the speed of that specific clip. What I do here is exactly the same what I did before for the other data source. At the end it is just one member list more that gets added to the complete report. And the preview shows me if I'm correct. Nope, there is something missing. Remember, we forgot something. And this is to connect the data band to the others. So again, this is a D group, that's correct. It is with that relation connected. And I have to use this time the connection to the data band dot title roles. So again, this shows me here the names of my two bands. This is my first data band, that is my second data band and the connection of the third data band. It's not to the second, it is to the first data band. So it should be data job title roles. Here we are, here's the preview. And now we do have groups as well. You can see the two column format is not really good using distinguished names. So maybe it's better to reformat that again and to say, okay, there is only one column and shorten up the band. And here we are. Here are my assigned members. Here are my assigned Active Directory groups. Last but not least, the space between the last element here and the header there. And to get that done, I move back to the page information. Here we are. And we need a little bit more space here in the, at the top line. So I expand that data band, select all the elements, move the elements down just one click here we are and then i shorten up the data band again and much better one thing that is not really cool to me and this is that the line i can see here it's longer than the others uh, that line it's different to that line so let's format that at the end back to the page here it's the line, it's the wrong element I selected. So I click on no line, I select this time the right element, I click on add line. Now it looks better. And the preview says you are right. This is my report layout and the next step will be to ensure that the complete stuff here gets displayed somewhere in the manager.